Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a few products that I've purchased recently. This haul is very much overdue. I tend to shop when I run out or start running out of my essential beauty products and I've now basically managed to run out of at least one of them. So I'm really desperate for the products that I'm about to show you. However, let's start with the not so essential products such as makeup. I already have a large makeup collection, so I certainly do not need anything new, but I have pretty much run out of pressed powders. I think I still have one or two, but by my standards, that's pretty much like having none. So I've decided to see what's out there. And uh, there is a product that I've been meaning to try. Actually, it's more like a brand that I've been meaning to try. And I have quite a few products in this whole video from this brand, and that's Charlotte Tilbury. So the product that I've got is a brush flawless finish powder in one fair. I'm not entirely sure that this is going to be the right shade for me because, you know, I sometimes look a little bit brownier, sometimes pale. I'm naturally quite pale. And this powder looks really pale. <laughs> Let's face it, look at this. I've heard a lot about this product and of course Charlotte Tilbury is a really well-known and popular brand. So I'm kind of trying to try and test a few of their products. Since we are on the Charlotte Tilbury, I have also bought one of their newer items and that is Pillow Talk Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter. I have plenty of highlighters, so I definitely do not need another one, but I really wanted to try it. Oh, it comes in this utterly beautiful packaging and this is what it looks like inside. So I suppose you just need to combine all of those shades but I might as well just see if I can use those shades separately, see the finish, see how they work, there's four of them. So yeah, a gorgeous product, definitely looks really nice. And let's see if it's, um, if it's any good. Two more products from Charlotte and these are Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow, Love and Light Lip and Cheek Glow. Oh, I thought it was gonna say like a blush or something like that. Um, I bought them basically to use as a blush and I got the two colors that they had, um, color of dreams and color of passion. Now, when I got these and I opened them, I was quite disappointed, I'm not gonna lie, um, because the colors looked nothing like the colors on the website. On the website, both were quite bright, vibrant colors. What I have here are quite muted, I mean, beautiful for autumn, colors but um definitely not what i was expecting so this one is what is this this is color of passion and this is color of dreams again um the pictures on the website were very different the shade in real life looks very different these are a re-release so i believe that those products were limited edition uh, maybe a couple of years ago and they sold out and then they re-released them recently so they did appear on the website as a new in. I love blush, I'm a blush person and I love cream blush as well so let's see how we get on and we'll try this on the lips as well although I'm probably not gonna really be using it on my lips let's face it. Now Natasha Denona released a primer recently and this is, I don't know how to pronounce it, Hygiene Skin Glass Energizing and Hydrating Primer Serum. 20 ml, but the bottle is very heavy. So this is what it looks like. You know, I love the kind of products that you put on your face that just add a little bit of a glow that are not exactly highlighters. And this is, well, it, it is meant to be a primer as well, but I got it because it appeared to give a bit of a glow. So Let's see how it tests in real life. The last two products that I have, the last two makeup products that I have are from Viseart and these are the Petit Force. Um, one is in Garnet, the other one is in Peridot. I think these are in French, so I'm sure I'm not pronouncing them correctly. Now, Viseart, in my opinion, is a really underrated brand. You don't hear much about them on social media. But I've recently acquired two of this quad um, in different shades 
and I just love them. I love the colors. The pastels were so pigmented. Excellent quality product. This looks like something just perfect for this season. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And I have a weakness for green eyeshadow. Let's face it, not like very, very green, um, but just kind of greenish brownish. Now these are quite green, let's face it. But I think maybe because green goes so well with brown eyes. So I got these two quads and to be honest, I am actually eyeing out more of the quads. Now the last colored products are nail polishes. I tend to use up a few nail polishes every year. So with me, nail polishes just don't go to waste. The first nail polish is from Essie and this is in shades on. It's this lilac -y purplish color. The other one is from Rimmel and this is in, what is this, in Hot Tropicana. A lovely, lovely pink color. And the third one is from Maybelline and this is in Paint the Town. I love this color. I just love blue. I don't know why on my nails. These are most likely discontinued because I tend to buy the polishes from like outlet shops. I don't really bother about the new releases or something like that. So I don't know um, that you can really easily get them anymore, but I just really love the colors. The two staples that this haul was even for, which I have run out of, are by, one is by Paula's Choice, and this is the Peptide Booster. This is something that I always have in my beauty routine. So this is something that I kind of run out of and then went shopping. And then the Inky List Q10 coenzyme. Uh, which again is a staple, I just basically use it on an everyday basis and I've run out of both, so had to, had to go shopping basically. The remaining products are from Liberty of London. Um, they had different sets of products and I actually got a couple of, I can't remember how many I got because I got doubles. So in the first set, uh, it was a set of her products and I got this Davines Nunu hair mask. So I got two of these masks because I got two sets. Then I thought I would try these Aveda Botanical Repair Strengthening Leave-In Treatment. I have really frizzy hair and difficult, so I do have to take extra good care of it and I tend to spend a lot of money on my hair, unfortunately, but that's just in the nature of things. Then since my Oribe texturizing spray is, it's not yet done, but it's kind of like getting there, I thought I would try this one by her, by Sam McKnight, Easy Updo Texture Spray. Um, I just, you know, I need a little bit of a lift in my roots, so yeah, because, you know, I have volume here, but just, it tend to look really flat at the top. Then again, I got two sets that include in this, what is it, bath soak. I don't know what this is, like salts. And they basically smell of roses and there are some like flower petals in this product as well. So I got two of these. Now this is a travel size shower gel um, by Bamford. So yeah, I have two again because they came in two different sets. Um, this is, I think, with geranium. I'm not entirely sure. You always, <laughs> you always need a shower gel. So here we go. Then a few products from a different set. This set included more like skincare. And this is by Sarah Chapman, Skinesis Intense Hydrating Booster. Winter is coming, my skin tends to be quite dry throughout those winter months because of the heating, so some extra moisture won't hurt. QMS Medi Cosmetics Replenishing Protection Hand Cream. I've never really tried anything from this brand, so um, and I, I need hand cream. I use hand cream all the time. So I thought I might as well try and see whether it will work well in winter conditions. Dr. Barbara Storm Cleanser. I've used, I think, only one or two products from Dr. Storm because they are so incredibly expensive. And this is expensive as well. I would never really buy it separately, but because it came in a set and I, of course, need face wash. I use it every single day, twice a day. I was like, you know what, I might as well just test it and see how I like the brand overall. And the last product is something that, again, I would not be buying separately. It is a lip balm by Dr. Seba. Dr. Seba is a very expensive brand. I don't necessarily need a lip balm per se, but I'm thinking I might use it as a fa face mask, not a face mask, as a lip mask, because my lips tend to be um, quite dry. 
so yeah this is why i like those kind of sets because they really allow me to test products that i would normally want to spend money on when buying their products um separately because these are really really expensive and this is it guys these are all the products that i have in this haul i have another haul coming up because i'm already running out of other things but not to overwhelm you i decided not to show all of the products in one haul i do hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like please subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will see you very very soon bye guys